ladies and gentlemen, to the Champions League final. We're going into this with no expectations whatsoever. This is our sixth season as Reading FC manager. This is the first time we have reached the final. The last place that we did, the highest rank we did in the Champions League was the quarters last season against Liverpool. We are today going up against Liverpool in the final. And our trajectory of this club has been phenomenal. What we've done under the leadership of myself and the staff we've got here, we've created an atmosphere and a place here that is just ridiculous. And let me just show you what we've done. As you can see here, we took over here. We finished fifth, first, third and first in the championship. You saw the rise of us losing two playoff finals and then going to this. Then we finished third and third in our two seasons. And then this season as well, we have finished third. We can't get over the hurdle. We finished fourth, sorry. We can't get over the hurdle of getting up there. But next season will be, if we win the Champions League, our sole focus will be the Premier League next season to win it then that will be the end of the save. But if not, we go again and we keep going up until we get to where we need to get to. But this is going to be an extremely tough game. I have no ounce of knowing this. I know it's going to be. So now we're going into this game with just a little bit more hesitation than what we would normally do. But we're going to come out of this with a win. Let's get into the Champions League final. I'm not wearing a suit. The last time I wore a suit. Every time I've wore a suit on this channel, we have lost in finals. Not doing it again. <sighs> Come on. They don't care about being underdogs. Right, here we are. The 4-3-3. Elbow needs to click, and it's not clicking. And here are Liverpool going into this 4-3-3 as well. I haven't looked really much for summer transfer signings yet. It will all depend on what happens in this match, what I do. So, can't do what Tottenham did against Liverpool in real life in the final, concede after a minute, and we haven't. This is going to be a very cagey affair, to say the least. We just need to go into this game, be ourselves, and do it. They're going to get the possession. We just need to hit them on the counter. Elise has picked up a knock by the look of it. Hopefully it's not too bad and he's able to carry on. Here we go, first highlight of the Champions League final. What we're going to do. I'm going to put on extended. Just for this game. Here we go, Ryan over the top, doesn't get it. Here's Aziz, back to Jackson. Couldn't get the end finish. Thought he might have just been offside, but he wasn't. But that is fine, that's good play there. To try and get in behind and get through. We need to nullify Liverpool as much as we possibly can. And here they come again. Bellingham gets stopped. Here, can we hit him on the counter? Nope. <clears throat> 38 minutes played. Another highlight. Jackson's in. 1-0. Champions League final. Nicholas Jackson. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. What a way to do it. It was having a very poor game up until then. Gets one opportunity and slams it home. Very much well done to him. Right, let's carry on this going. Let's really kill them off. They haven't had a good time in the league, but we always don't do, we never do well against Liverpool, so it's fine. We beat them once, I think 5-1. It didn't really go well. Aziz is trying to come in against Nuno Tavares, and he does. Ah, great save by Allison there. 
corner to us. Or another corner. Set, can we get another bite of the cherry? We're going into two minutes of added on time. Doesn't get it. Omos wins it, but it looks like it might have done something. And he's off. We have a red card in the final. And it's us. Don't want you overlapping as much now. Regroup. Um, it's really helpful to see that your centre back that you're bringing on is nervous, and um, that brings me a lot of confidence. It's also waste time now. We've got to be Diego Simone type team now. Half time, 1 0. They haven't had any shots on target. Omos has fucked us now in the Champions League final. Could this be it? Could this... First highlights for them. And we're able to clear it. Can we fully get it away? Mo Salah shoots. Great save by Connor Boyce Clark. They are now going to really push us now to the limit. And they header it wide to cross the face of goal. This is going to be very nervy time for us now. We're going to have to waste time. We're going to have to be very clever in what we do. To try and not get fucked. I don't want any support. I want you just to defend. Okay, right. Should be fine, I think. Jackson's got one goal, but he's on a 6.9, which means he's not having a great game. Can't really do much. Another corner, swings it in, able to get it away, but most Salah is there. And there's a deflection and there's the goal. We haven't had a highlight or anything in this game. And that is my major worry. Okay, we just need to be a little bit more clever, I think. Maybe Jackson needs a little bit of help up top. That's what we've given him now. Maybe that might be able to do it. But Omos getting sent off has really not helped us. Just have to find a way of getting a foothold or maybe doing something or maybe something on the counter. They can bring us in. And they've got another opportunity here. Elliot, great save by Connor Boyce Clark. Do not rush it. Take your time. Elliot again, another great save by Connor Boyce Clark. Those set plays are becoming a bit dangerous now. Can't be letting them do it. They're outworking us at the moment. That's the issue. I can see by the high intensity sprints and everything. They've tried to go over the top again. And they've gone for it. But Connor Boyce Clark is there to save it.
Oh, I've made all my subs, haven't I? Oh yeah, because I made it stupidly and I've got to wait now to full time to do it if I can, if we don't go to extra time. So this is what we have. Luis Diaz over the top, great defending there. Nullify his attack. He's not having a great game and they've done it again, tried to get the front post but we're able to do it. Great defending there. We've got four minutes added on. Can we see this through? Bellingham. Great control there by Kelvin. Loses it stupidly there. You cannot lose the play there. Fucking hell. We've got 20 seconds left of the, third, of the second half. Try and scrape something out of this. And Bobby had nowhere to go. Over the top. Jackson. Can he win it? Great save by Allison there. And it looks like it is full time. And now going to extra time. Keep them happy. There's our final changes. If we get anyone injured or anything happens, then we are down to nine men. And now we've got a kickoff highlight. on the attack oh my god just get the fucker away come on actually win a ball this is a goal oh all right corner kick it is i want to see the highlight is this on full game now or something cleared it out robertson goes down the line shoots color boys clark is there Liverpool are literally all over us and I do not know what to do. I'm not taking it off time wasting because we still need to control it when we do it. But we need to make sure that these passes are getting and not going stupidly long to players that don't need it. Um, let's go really narrow for attacking. Cut that down a bit. That will do. Tonali tries to get it away. Mo Salah. Tonali does well. Bellingham was at the back, but here comes Bobby. Can Bobby do something with it? He just runs out wide and gives it back to them. Elliot, great interception there. Clears it out wide, but they're able to get it. Mo Salah, Sabitzer, Sabitzer, where his name is, Shabala. Shabala, ba ding dong. Doesn't do it. And there's the fuckery. We are now down to nine men. I don't think I can make a change, can I? Um, I'm just trying to find ways to block holes. Maybe use this, using their skills, but we're now down to nine men. We still have the second half of extra time to play. Might, it might be all over now, and it is. Severi Imina has got it. Try and go a bit more positive now. Here we go. Highlight from kickoff. Wasteful. Wasteful. Maybe this will help. Getting the ball back and playing a little bit better. Nazinho Arda. Doesn't go anywhere. Bellingham's there. We've got no one around. Nazinho does well. Shalabs are. Whatever his fucking name is. Get rid of wasting time. We're now in the last minute of extra time in the first half. 
Mazzinia does well. Bellingham is there. Taps it around, drills it over the top. Just need a goal. Come on, lads. Mazzinio, Wilson doesn't do anything. This is our first Champions League final experience. We give Liverpool a hard-fought match, but going down to nine men, as it probably would any team, especially against the high-intensity and press Liverpool give, was always going to be a trouble. And then they nearly made it three. Got five minutes left. This is a bit of a kick in the balls, isn't it, lads? Or lasses. Everyone in between. Goes for the over-the-top ball, doesn't work. Nicholas Jackson is one in, he's in behind, and it's the only thing he could do. I don't blame him for that. Gone from the highs of going 1 0 up to getting the red card, to then trying to defend with our lives and just not been able to do it. And there's 3 1 now. Nope, no goal. Okay. Goes over the top again, doesn't work, goes again, doesn't work, goes again, and now they're through. Mazzinio coming over to try and recover the ball, goes long. Jackson can't do it, everything on his own. He's got no one there around him to help him. And there's Harvey Elliott. Can he seal it? No, he can't. Connor Boyce Clark does well there. We're now at the one minute over the allotted time. And now Liverpool will be celebrating as European champions. And we will be going home without anything. We had two trophies in line. In the last two episodes, but we didn't get there. But this will be a learning experience from the lads. We just now need to go off. I need to go off now, see what needs to be done, what we need to do, and how to change it to try and get this team to the next level. That's all I need to do now. So this is going to be a long old time now for me to go and think about it. But thank you guys ever so much for joining me today. You guys have been absolutely fantastic with your love and support. This means the absolute world, and I will see you guys very, very soon.